Security Council speakers. Microphone is unfortunately cut off. Mr. Stadler. President. President, Minister, for decades now, we've had persecution of Christians, unprecedented levels of uh, persecution of Christians, many, many victims. For instance, in Pakistan, in Iraq, and in Syria, Christians are persecuted. In particular, in Syria and in Iraq, we're talking about entire communities of Christians, and we're talking about some of the most established, longest standing Christian communities in the world. They're being attacked and this is because of a failure of Western policy. We are therefore co-responsible for this. The European Union is you know, really to be seen as a force to protect Christians, not just protecting agnostics or atheists or others. We should also be protecting Christians because Christians are defenseless under the present circumstances. Um, item 30 or paragraph 30 mention is made here of mutual conditionality. That's fine. That is appropriate. But this reciprocal conditionality, where do you actually find that? What about reciprocity with regard to Turkey, for instance? Turkey is persecuting Christians within its own country, in addition to which it is also supporting murderous gangs in, you know, on the borders between Syria and Turkey. Uh, they're, they're, they're there and they're killing entire communities and villages of Christians there. And yet Turkey is moving closer to Europe and Europe is just standing by and watching. How can this be? Bearing in mind that they were responsible for the genocide of the Armenian people only a century or so ago. Again, persecution of uh, of uh, Christians. And as for the King Abdullah Center, it is a Wahhabi center. It should not be taken seriously. And next speaker is Mr. Preda. Thank you very much, uh, President. Uh, throughout this term of office, I have frequently approached various uh, violations of religious freedom, and I have defended the religious communities in various countries, especially in our 